Yo, 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 what is up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got another banger for y'all, going over some more underrated knife glove combos. Got some heaters in today's video. Make sure to let me know in the comments below which one is your absolute favorite. Leave a like, leave a comment, you know the deal. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Kicking off today's combos, we got one of my personal favorites, which is the Moto Gloves Cool Mint, matched with really any Urban Mass knife. Uh, gonna be showing it off with the M9 bayonet here first. The gray of the uh, Urban Mash just goes perfectly with the accents of the Cool Man gloves and also the uh, shapes of the design on the Urban Mash really matches the design on the Cool Man gloves as well. Just a super clean combo. These gloves you can pick up in field tested for about $300 to $400 and you could really get any Urban Mash knife that matches your budget which is a reason why I love this combo so so much. So go grab these gloves, go grab an Urban Mash knife that matches your budget and enjoy this combo. Um, next, we got another sick craft. This one utilizes a little bit more of an expensive knife, being the Skeleton Knife Case Harden. But it's got some cheap gloves, which is the Hand Wraps Badlands, which you can pick up in field tested for just at $100. Super solid deal for these gloves right here. This combo is just so clean. I think that as long as you get enough yellow on the glove, or on the Case Harden, I mean, to match that tan on the badlands hand wraps this is just a super clean combo and the blue that's on the knife actually just gives it a little bit of character gives it a little bit of pop so it honestly brings it all together super nicely and those deeper darker colors that are in the case hardened are really accented well on the uh, darker greens and the darker tans that are on the hand wraps badlands just another sick combo and you could probably go with most case hardens on this one but i just chose the skeleton knife because i personally enjoy it the next combo we got is definitely a little bit more expensive, mainly because of the knife it uses, which is the Karambit Tiger Tooth match with the Moto Gloves Eclipse, which you can actually pick up for just a couple hundred bucks and field test it. I think it's like 150, but the Karambit Tiger Tooth, obviously more expensive. The inspect animation looks so sick with this, the yellow of the Tiger Tooth matching the inside of the gloves super well, and idle, super clean also, matches that yellow accent that's on top of the gloves. You could definitely match this combo with um, more budget Tiger Tooth knives, but I just think the Karambit Tiger Tooth is so iconic that if you have the budget for this knife, then definitely consider picking up these gloves for the combo because I think this is super, super clean. Moving on to what I think is the fourth knife glove combo. We got the Bayonet Lore matched with the Hand Wraps Desert Shema. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, another super iconic knife with the Bayonet Lore matched with a lower tier um, glove, which is the Hand Wraps Desert Shema. I think that this combo though is sick because of the designs that's on the lore, like on the blade of the lore, kind of matches the design that's on the gloves themselves. And also, the gloves being a little bit darker but kind of matching the same color really allows the lore to pop. So another sick combo using a super iconic knife. Last but certainly not least, we have one of my favorite, if not my favorite combo of today's video with the Paracord Fade matched with the Moto Gloves Pow. Obviously a more expensive combo, it uses the Fade Knife with the Moto Gloves Pow gloves. But this combo is incredible. Almost every color on the fade is utilized in these gloves. Even down to the bottom of it, using that brown is on top of the POW gloves. It's just insane. Even when you inspect this knife and the paracord handle has that little bit of white in the handle, it goes perfectly with the white that's on these gloves. It's just down to a T, matches it perfectly. And the purple that's on the tip of the fade gives it a little bit of character, gives it a little pop. You can never really go wrong with a fade knife and pairing it with this pair of gloves looks so clean so if you have this in the budget definitely check this one out and just like that we are done with today's five underrated knife glove combos i really hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a comment which one was your favorite and also leave a like it really helps the algorithm really helps everything and like always if you're interested in the surf make sure to stick around to the end i'll include the clip of me beating the map um, but thank you so much for watching it to the end if you did and have a good one. Peace.